Hey y'all, it's me again. So I don't even know what I'm calling this video yet, to be honest with you. But I sort of just had like a very strong synchronicity today. And I have these sort of moments like a lot. But I've been honoring, you know, sort of showing up more authentically and not really even worrying about like making every single video like a full production and it being absolutely 100% perfect and blah 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 like I just I want to be myself I want to help people and I even want to share just like how day-to-day -day spirituality can look like or how it sort of shows up for some people or at least me um, I know I can at least share my experience so again this is one of many um, and if you guys receive this well I might even backtrack to other synchronicities I've had in the past or other stories and share those too because I mean I know this will help at least someone at least one person I know that this is going to strike a chord is that the saying? Oh. Girl, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I just, I know that even if I make some of these videos on a whim, like, I know that even if they help just one person, I've done something. It served its purpose, you know? So anyways, here's what happened today. So a few days ago, Wednesday, I think it was, I'm filming this on a Friday. I, okay, I'll say this. I lately have really been like living in the frequency of enjoying the process, you know, like for the longest time had been so hard in myself and I dealt with a lot of mental health issues and things like simply just because I put so much pressure on myself and I wasn't where I wanted to be or where I thought I should be, which is completely subjective. Like everybody has their own story, their, their own journey. We won't, we won't get into that right now, but with how my life looks lately, it's not even like, perfect or I guess the way I imagine it looking as like the end goal but it looks pretty good I lately have just been really loving life and like I feel I have finally reached success in what that looks like for me because I also had this really big realization um I would say maybe even within the past year that like I get to choose what success looks like for me and really truly part of what success looks like for me is simply waking up every day and looking forward to the day like wanting to live life and have the freedom and flexibility to do whatever I want whenever I want and yeah I mean just that's very surface level but I also don't want this video to be hours long because I know I can <laughs> I can talk so yeah, in short, like lately I've just been really, I, I wake up and I really look forward to doing what I get to do every single day. And let me tell you, that is freaking leaps and bounds of an improvement in terms of my mental health, my mental and emotional state, just everything. I don't think I've ever felt better in my entire life. And I also, I filmed a video on how I cured my chronic depression and anxiety without medication. I just, I think I wanna add a few things to that video, so I'm not gonna release it yet, but I still will put it out because I think that if I would have been able to see that years ago, yeah, that would have helped me. But anyways, let's cut to the chase. On Wednesday, I was going about life, enjoying life, doing me, and I got triggered by something. Still human, you know? And I'm be honest, like this one thing like really blew me. Like it low key like ruined a portion of my day and I knew I shouldn't have let it, but um, it really got me down for a second because it just, here's, here's the part of spirituality that I feel like a lot of people don't speak on. And I don't mean to paint a picture of something that is um, sort of just subjective to me or like an untruth or or even just like give a negative connotation to it. That's not what I'm trying to do at all. I'm just being real with you. Spirituality and self-development, growth, evolution can be a very challenging journey at times because sometimes you can just feel like you're doing all this work, right? Like 
every day. You're you're getting up, you're doing the meditations, the yoga, the shadow work, the gratitude, like you're being as if and you're living in the frequency of um, your wish fulfilled and you're manifesting things and like, yeah, 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 you know? And then when you have a moment where you feel like you really just got nothing back from the universe, like you really just got shit on, like for lack of better words, you're kind of just like, what the like what does a girl gotta do around here to feel supported by the universe you know what i mean like and it's like you try to reaffirm to yourself like you know what the universe has my back like this is just a test or you know maybe there are just still some limiting beliefs i need to get through or maybe there's still some work i need to do on myself you know what i mean like all this stuff but yet like when you feel like you do that stuff all the time like every day like you guys, I have a Scorpio stallion. My entire existence is a death and rebirth process. Every moment of my life is a death and rebirth process. Like you ask anybody that knows me on a personal level, I am a different person every single year. Probably every single time they see me, I'm a different person. You can ask my partner, he gets a different woman every week, damn near. Lucky him. But you know, I, I had this moment where I got really triggered and just really angry and frustrated because I really felt that I wasn't, is somebody, what is somebody doing out there? I don't know if y'all hear that. I wasn't receiving the support that I sort of was feeling. Like there was this cognitive dissonance between what I was internally feeling and how I have felt literally the most amazing and happy and joyful and loving and blessed and grateful that I've ever felt in my life. And then what the universe was giving me, I was like, really sis, you trying to say you don't like me? Like, what's up? And I cried, <laughs> dramatic, but I did. I sat there and I just started to like talk out loud, you know, pray, I guess you want to call it. Um, I, I just don't ever use that term anymore, I guess, because I used to use that term when I was like back in Catholic school, in my freaking middle school days, but not ever since then, really. I just started to talk out loud really to like, you know, God, my higher self, my spirit team, angels, guides, ancestors, really whoever or whatever was listening. Cause like at that point I had just felt so like doubtful and I was expressing out loud, you know, how I was feeling and how I was honestly just like super angry and frustrated at whatever higher power is at play like i i straight up acknowledge the fact that like i'm pissed i'm pissed with you right now i'm angry i'm frustrated because i felt like there was almost something like trying to fight against what i'm trying to manifest or what i was manifesting or what i was even feeling i'm like it's almost this is how i explained it earlier i had a really amazing conversation with my partner earlier today actually and i said it's like you're in a boxing ring and you are the one that's constantly getting hit and beat up and knocked to the ground like KO'd and then you get back up and then you get KO'd again and then you get back up and then you get KO'd again and then you get back up and you know he said to me it's like well the good thing about it is you're not staying down and it's like yeah I'm not staying down but like dang how many times do I have to get myself back up like why can't I just win for once right and for me you know, I just, I was getting so angry and frustrated with the fact that like, I've had to pick myself back up so many times now. And like, I, I acknowledge that like, you know, maybe this is what my soul signed up for. And I know that the universe wouldn't give me anything I can't handle. So, you know, there's still some faith there, but like at that moment, I voiced out loud that, you know, sometimes everything about spirituality just seems like a lie. Like, it feels like I'm believing in nothing. Like if, if I'm feeling this good and I'm doing all these things and like, but like I'm getting what feels like nothing back from you universe. And again, maybe I was being dramatic cause I, I count my blessings. Like I obviously have a lot, but I wasn't seeing something manifest the way I wanted it to. And if anything, it felt like it was like 10 steps back and I got KO'd again. And like you're receiving so many signs and synchronicities on a daily, daily, 
but like okay there's only so many like two two twos three three threes four 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 seven seven sevens i can take you know what i mean like okay already you know i guess you know it's just it's super frustrating when you do so much self-development work and you do all of this to like expand your consciousness and raise your vibrational frequency and you see that manifesting in some ways and you feel so good and you're expecting it to just kind of like amplify even from there but then like there's something that like you really want to see a big change in and that really sort of will propel you forward and you feel like you've been living in alignment with that thing and then for you to see it like <sighs> it kind of just feels like you're waiting for something that will never happen or you're working towards something that will never fully materialize and and like, listen, I am self-aware enough to know that that is self-doubt coming up. That is doubt in my own spirit. That is doubt in the infinite power that I am created from, that I have within me, completely aware of that. I'm just simply expressing, expressing a, a frustrating moment that was like a real life moment with a real life emotion. And I think it's important for us to acknowledge our negative emotions through our life experience through our spiritual experience because when we don't and we mask it with this like positive vibes only or like oh no i have to um hold this vibrational frequency because i have to stay within this because i want this to manifest or i can't think negative thoughts because i don't want that to manifest like when you do that that is when things get buried subconsciously or unconsciously and then they just come back right back up later. You know what I mean? And then you're gonna have to deal with them later on when you've buried them down in a place where they can like sort of like fester, I don't know if that's the word, and grow and become stronger. And yeah, you're just gonna have to like deal with all that crap later. I just wanna acknowledge that I think it's healthy to acknowledge negative emotions and thoughts within your experience. So that is sort of what I was doing at the time and that's what I'm doing now. In no way am I saying that like what I'm trying to manifest will never manifest. I was just having feelings and emotions in that moment, but I'm sharing it because again, this is real. This is real life. This is what happens sometimes throughout your spiritual experience that not a lot of people speak on. So I woke up today, chippered in a skipper, and um, I felt called to do some divination um, which I've oddly enough been doing a lot more lately and I mean this in the form of like pulling tarot cards and stuff like I went through my phase a long time ago where like I built my entire tarot card oracle card collection and I was pulling them like almost every day then I kind of stopped like stopped for a while took a break from it pulled back from it but lately I've been pulling them almost every day again pulling spreads for myself um, and it feels really fun it just it puts me back in alignment i feel like with um, my younger self when i used to just like do that with regular playing cards and it also puts me in alignment with my uh north node and scorpio there too or even maybe like my past life as a witch or parallel life i guess it's the way you look at it but anyway i start pulling cards um one of the cards i pulled today is from um let me just sh show you actually. So I have this deck called the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Deck and Guidebook. Um, I've had this for freaking ever. I don't know, I think I got this off Amazon. I'll link it down below. I'm pretty sure I got it off Amazon. But I love these cards. This is what the box looks like, holographic. The deck looks like this. So really simple pattern on the cards. The cards themselves, like the animals on the cards, are just so beautiful. So yeah, anyways, the one of the cards that came up for me, I won't show you my whole spread just because I feel like, you know, that's, that's like for me. But this card came up today, the spider. And I've had this card come up for me before. I've had this animal symbol come up for me before in dream interpretation, in psychic and intuitive interpretation for a friend of mine in a reading once and it was a synchronicity for myself as well but it was interesting to me that this card came up again for me because this does represent sort of like your web and your web is your support 
financial, spiritual support. And the spider represents, you know, the creator of this web who doesn't get tired when creating it. It simply, it, it's, a, it's process oriented. It enjoys the process of creating the web. And within this web, you can see that there's magic. There's literal like, like Fibonacci sequences and patterns and like mandala effects within each and every web that's created. And yeah, like just a very um, significant animal totem and symbol. Again, I'll leave these cards linked down below. I absolutely love them. They're one of my favorite decks. I love pulling them. So yeah, spider card came up for me today. As well as I picked up this book, which is a divination book called The Book of Light by Alexandra Zoll. Nato, ask and heaven will answer. I'll leave this link down below too because I'm pretty sure I also got this off of Amazon way back when. And I feel like the synchronicity really hit me once I opened this book up to a random page, which is how I use this book all the time. So last night, you guys know I do dream work. So I dreamt last night that I woke up, but I actually didn't really woke, wake up. I woke up within my dream and as I was waking up in my bedroom, I looked at my curtains on my window and my curtains were like morphing into things. And I saw like a face and yeah, it, I was aware that like I was hallucinating in my dream. And I remember saying to my mom, like, mom, I'm hallucinating. Like when I was waking up this morning, I was hallucinating. And that was it really. Like that was the end of the dream. It was a very quick one. I'll be honest like dreams like that I'll sometimes ignore not ignore but like sometimes I won't really go into depth with interpreting them which is really um, honestly a mistake because every single dream we have is so significant like I'm about to reveal to you um, so I ended up journaling this dream after this happened so in terms of this dream where I was aware that I was hallucinating Keep that in mind, that's a parallel. But I ended up picking up my Book of Light and I just did one of these. I intuitively opened it to a page and I opened it to page number 160, number 113, the three dimensions. And I'll read it to you guys um, just because I feel like somebody needs to hear this aside from just me. And that's why I'm filming this video and sharing this with you guys. So if you needed to hear this, comment. Hmm. What should I make you guys? Ooh, comment the spider emoji down below. Yes. So here it goes. Each of you has three dimensions. Each of you vibrates with the energy from the triangle in these three dimensions. The mental dimension, the emotional dimension, and the spiritual dimension, or in other words, the soul's dimension. You will reach harmony only when you can vibrate equally in all three dimensions. This is not happening, however. This is not how it has been. Lately, human beings have been vibrating through the mental dimension. This dimension controls the other two. When you are sad, you think, how silly, I feel sad, and have no idea why and you try to stop feeling sad. In reality, you are using your mind to manipulate your emotions. You are saying to your pain, stop hurting because I don't understand where you are coming from, and you close up. And in doing so, you halt the emotional flux that would have almost certainly taken you somewhere. When you feel the calling, when you feel the energy from Aquarius, when you get emotional over coincidences, over events that are unusual and enlightening, when you see life passing before you, when you feel the light, and even when you feel me, the first thing you think is, there I go, making things up. There I go, hallucinating. And you cut things short, you hold back. That is your mind stopping your spiritual dimension from manifesting itself. Because you are energy, and that is all you are. And energy manifests itself. You have all three dimensions. Do not allow your mental dimension to dominate. Harmonize think and think things through. Feel and respect what you feel. Be intuitive and follow your light and you will be harmonious. You will be balanced. You will be happy. Jesus. <sighs> Yo, when I read that, 
I was like, yep, there y'all go again. You know, it, it just, it really called me to that part where it said, there I go making things up, there I go hallucinating. I also wanna bring attention to uh, when it says, when you feel the energy from Aquarius. When I had this dream, like right now, I'm as I'm filming this video, the moon is in Aquarius. And I think we're, we're said to be in the age of Aquarius too. But I, I really felt that, you know, the hallucinating was sort of a parallel, you know? And again, if you haven't watched my video on how to unlock secrets in your dreams, watch that video, please. But my dream, my unconscious was trying to reveal to me that this metaphor of hallucinating and how this is showing up within my mental, emotional, and spiritual existence. So of course I looked up the definition of hallucinate or hallucination and on Google from, I guess this is like the Oxford Dictionary or something, I don't freaking know, I'll put it on the screen. It gives you the definition, experience an apparent sensory perception of something that is not actually present. And it gives the example, people sense themselves going mad and hallucinate about spiders. Excuse me? <sighs> Bruh. Like when I tell y'all stuff like this happens to me all the time. Um, so yeah, this is why I journal my dreams. This is why, yeah. You can't tell me any of this is a coincidence, especially when I picked up this book because I don't pull this divination book all the time. I'm, I'm more of a tarot card person. I always like get this inkling, like almost somebody or something saying to me, book of light. And I'm like, okay, like gotta go pick it up. And then this all happens like, bruh, you're, you can't be for real, like be for real. So yeah, as I was saying, like, I feel that my unconscious was sort of using this hallucination metaphor to represent to me how I unconsciously sort of might be doubting my own beliefs about a higher power, about beliefs within myself even, and how maybe on an unconscious level, sometimes I convince myself that I'm seeing something that's not actually present. You know what I mean? Like, because this sort of metaphysical source energy, this, this all powerful, creative, magical energy that we can sort of sense and know, but not physically see on the material plane. And that's sort of why it clashes with our mental dimension, you know? You know, when you don't see things manifesting the way you want them to, or you sometimes wonder like, why do bad things happen to good people? Or like, why do these things happen? You kind of think like, maybe all of this is bullshit. Like maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm going through a psychosis. I've, I've, I've thought that before and I've thought like maybe I'm weird, maybe other people think I'm weird, maybe maybe this is all just this made up thing that I'm making up in my head and in my experience and I guess I just need to like live life normally. I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm honestly still processing it all to be honest with you because this is just so much. But the, the excerpt from this book like really just reaffirmed to me and let me know that like I'm convincing myself that I'm hallucinating and maybe I'm seeing something that actually is there and that maybe just isn't visible to everybody but is visible to me or maybe even we choose what we want to see you know, in, in a way, because we're, we live in this illusionary experience. We literally live in a dream. I say it all the time. We live in this Maya and uh, man, I'm sorry. I, I can go so deep with this, but I'm trying to, I guess, keep it simple. But for those of you who get this and know, you'll know, y'all are my tribe. But the way I also sort of saw this entire synchronistic, occurrence was like our mental dimension I guess is comparable to our ego or our conscious self right and then our emotional dimension is more of our subconscious or like our true self and that's why like when we feel certain emotions come up 
like I said earlier, you have to acknowledge them. You have to be aware of them and, and honor them because your natural emotional response is coming up for a reason. It's coming up to energetically signal something to you. And they are not things to be ignored. And I think when I was feeling triggered within that experience, I think it was still showing to me or revealing to me in ways that I still don't believe in myself. How there is sort of a dissonance between between like my mental and physical plane and my emotions what I feel like my your emotions are your compass and I can honestly see how in my life right now I am even still making decisions that like in my head I rationalize and I see like this is logical this is responsible this is the thing I need to do but then in my emotional dimension I'm like no that is it's a no for me like you need to let that go this is no longer in alignment with where you're going and I can feel it literally emotionally but like in my head my ego my conscious convinces my subconscious or I guess takes over and says like nope we need to do this like this is what we should do this is what we're expected to do but it really is in disharmony with what I feel. And again, it's it's that external illusion. Like I, our conscious self, our ego chooses what we want to see and not what is actually the truth. Because that is what lies in our spiritual dimension, our unconscious, that the source of energy that is within us, that we are created from that manifests through us that connects us to everything and anything so yeah i think for right now my lesson from this moving forward is like if i feel something really strongly like i have this strong intuition for a reason and like my mental my ego always tries to rationalize things and try to like make things make sense Sometimes it, it causes us to ignore the truth for the sake of trying to protect ourselves. Because the truth is scary sometimes. Like sometimes we don't want to look at the truth. It's not something that's always super easy to digest, especially when you feel like you've been lying to yourself or you haven't been loving yourself or you've been ignoring aspects of yourself or parts of yourself. Like you. You almost have to have an ego death in order to really like move forward and live within truth instead of within this illusion. The illusion can look really pretty sometimes, but truth is where the real beauty lies. So I think this is where I'm gonna wrap this video. Um, I hope it wasn't too long. But yeah, I'm hoping that when I start uh, vlogging, hopefully really soon, there will be like lots of more of these moments like being shown to you guys really organically, like in the moment. <laughs> um, because that probably will be really fun to witness and for me to watch back and edit. <laughs> I can be a very animated person sometimes. But yeah, I, I've been loving showing up more authentically for you guys too feel a lot more connected to you. I feel like you guys really get to see my true self and who I am and just the idea or thought that like that can help people that can help so many of you guys like navigate through your experience. I get the feels. I get the feels when I think about that. So anyway, again, if you want to check out some of the divination tools, I'll link them down below. I love y'all. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.